Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a second in the series of my June birthday unboxings. Um, if this is the type of video that you enjoy, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you like this video, please thumb it up. Now, this is just uh, something from Chanel that I dropped into the bag as well. Um, when I went out shopping uh, because this has been recommended uh, highly uh, by my friend who um, keeps on telling me that this smells pretty similar to um, the actual or the perfume number Chanel number no. five but a much affordable version. I will let you know uh, when uh, in an in when I've tried this so that I can review it in a new video. Look, the lid is quite um, substantial and tactile with the logo Chanel at the top. The bottle looks quite luxurious, um, but otherwise I think, you know, underneath that all of that is just, you know, the normal spray can of a um, deodorant can. So yeah, look, um, can't wait to try this. And if it is really quite, um, quite good then yeah no I can save on the perfume maybe for everyday wear um, now as you can see a huge Hermes bag um, shopping bag in the background uh, it does have a bag inside which was kind of unexpected um, so I went to book with my essay who is not the essay that I got my pickle team with because that essay has left the shop now this new essay I just haven't really find that I click very well with her um, but what happened was um, she double booked herself which was kind of a little bit annoying um, so halfway through we ran out of time and she had to um, get an other sales associate to help me um, whom I find I clicked more with um, but first um, I like to unbox this you can probably tell if you are a Hermes lover that this box uh, contains most likely a scarf yes it is a 90 by 90 centimeter scarf um, just about the ribbon um, this is the Hermes 2024 um, ribbon Um, now this beautiful scarf is the classic astrology print um, they call it astrology forever uh, this style and that's because the um, print is actually unaltered from the original that was designed by Frank Hoyce for Connet, I'm sorry if I butchered his French name, back in 1963. Now, it is a heritage design. Um, they don't alter it, they don't change it. They basically just put it in different color scheme whenever they re-release it. I actually don't know how frequently they release it. Um, is it once a year? I don't know. Um, if you guys know, um, please feel free to comment down below. I will be very keen to learn. Um, but yeah, no, this year the um, the print is of this very vibrant cobalt blue um, and gold, which is just so stunning. Um, and I, I just love this print. I've actually been trying to look out for this print online and haven't been able to come across it. It's always sold out. Um, but uh, this came about in the store. It is so beautiful. So the design is based on the Renaissance astrology table. 
um, Renaissance is the era where there's a lot of um, development with science, with anatomy, with astrology. Um, so the art design is based on um, that era, the, the type of um, table that is used uh, to document you know, astrology. Um, so you can see Gemini, my star sign. You've got all the different star signs around the sun, which is where, um, which is the the center of the design. Um, and here you've got some numbers. Um, the numbers actually depict the different days of the month. Um, it's, you can see that December, October there. Um, I don't know. Look, I'm not. I'm not very well versed in astrology, so I don't know whether the um, dates actually aligns with you know the star sign. I, I don't know whether it's intentional or it's just decorative that it's you know the the star signs are placed in certain locations, just spaced out around the sun. You can see here they've got the moon um, and the uh, sort of the circle with a dot which I suspect symbolize the sun. So it's probably when you can actually see the sun and the moon in the sky. Again, I don't know whether they all line up perfectly with the hours of the day. Um, so with any of the Hermes scarf, uh, when it's brand new, you do get this tag which tells you um, what design it is. Um, so I usually remove this and this tag actually is a sticker. So it splits in the middle. Um, I'll just put it down so I can show you. Yeah, so you can actually just easily, it's perforated, so you can easily sort of, you know, split it apart. It is a label. Um, some people stick the label on the outside of the box when you put the scarf in storage. And if you have multiple designs, it's hard, you know, if you don't want to open up each box, then it's um, handy to stick this at the um, out, on the outside of the box. What I do because I don't have a lot, I've only got another 90 by 90 um, centimeter scarf, which was a black um, Dore Blue Boucle um, scarf. I'll link it down below and up on the screen. I usually just put the label like what I did just now and on the bottom of the tray. Um, so, yeah. Oh, how I store it, I actually don't put the lid over the top because I do store it in a cabinet um, so there's no dust inside but um, yeah I just kind of double up the lid uh, on the bottom like this um, so that is easy access um, and I believe the size of it you can actually just you know put one on top of another um, and line up and stack up the box without sort of you know squishing the scarf inside the box if you know what I mean um, so yeah because I've only got two I don't really need to sort of worry too much about not knowing which is which it's quite easy for me to find um, now this is uh, one that I've actually ordered online and got sent to the store so I can pick it up on the same day is the Cabrio um, scented water so it's order center so it's not order perfume or order toilet it's on order center again if I butchered the French I'm really sorry um, so this is the range where you can tell by the beautiful cute picture is the baby range um, it's 50 ml bottle um, and uh, it doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is why it's suited for um, s smaller children, basically. Um, and because I do actually have quite sensitive skin on my neck, so I can never spray any perfume on my neck. Um, and I wonder whether it's because of the alcohol that my skin just reacts to it and it just have 
you know develop acne whenever I use perfume on my neck over a few days so that's why I decided to um, try this uh, without the alcohol and see whether it does the same for me the other reason why I wanted to try this because this also has osmanthus uh, as one of the scent in it and if you followed my previous video again I'll link it down below or on the screen I loved the uh, osmanthus yunam from the um, essence the um essence uh, range um, so I thought look you know this would be quite a good alternative um, it comes in a spray bottle it smells divine um, I'm really loving this this smell um, I, I wonder whether it's got some orange blossom I'm not too sure I'll need to check the website again um, or whether it's got it on the on the box here so you can see you can use it for children under the age of three so I just checked um, now it doesn't have orange blossom but it has osmanthus honeysuckle and sandalwood um, so those are the raw ingredients um, in this uh, scent um, but it is so uh, fresh and sweet um, very floral um, and the bottle is just so gorgeous and cute with the picture also the pouch um, if you have noticed it's a bit of a different um, to the usual pouch um, the logo uh, the emblem of Hermes is in the classic orange and so is the string um, so very cute um, and I will let you know in review videos whether I uh, this would become my favorite and whether my uh, skin also reacts to this one if I was to use it on my neck like I have no problem when I spritz on my other pulse points like on my wrist um, and actually no I do react a bit when it's on my elbow so I think my my elbow fold the, the skin is also quite uh, thin and sensitive so um, that gets a bit red when I when I spray perfume on it um, but my neck yeah it just kind of develops acne um, quite stubborn acne after a few days which is annoying I'm still trying to get rid of scars oh and the essay um, also popped this little notebook um, into it uh, the bag as a gift so it's a Jardine uh, little notebook so that's quite sweet um, so this is the new essay that I've never met that I had to help out the essay that I booked um, because she overbooked um, so maybe it's because of that she felt a bit you know sorry for us <laughs> I don't know or maybe she knew it was my birthday um, and we kind of did click um, so yeah um, it's quite quite lovely to have this um, I do love stationery and notebooks so that would definitely come in handy um, now she also popped in the bag it looks like a few samples um, she did tell us that she popped something that she really enjoyed herself uh, into the bag for us to try so it looks like is the um, essence range as well ombre naguli um, so I've not tried this one so would we'll be very keen to try this and the other one is rose ikebana this one i did smell in the store um, and i find the fragrance a bit too strong initially but maybe maybe it will develop differently on my skin i don't i don't think i tried it on my skin um, so yeah very excited and i will definitely let you guys know once i get to these samples about how i feel about it um, I also went to Celine um, to request a, a perfume sample 
Um, so I previously tried the Saint Germain uh, sample and I quite liked it. Uh, whereas I took a bit more time to, um, you know, on, on the day to try the other ranges and uh, Parade is the one that I quite like the scent of as well. So I asked them for a sample so I can try it uh, on my skin. I find that, yeah, I, I like to try perfume over a few days um, in a relaxed environment like at home where I'm not rushed for time. Um, I really get to sort of, you know, find whether the 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 perfume is something I enjoy or not. Um, so this is a uh, looks like okay. So this is for the jewelry uh, piece that I also picked up. Um, so it uh, ticks what uh, the the diamonds, what the clarity, the grading grading of the diamonds and how many carats it comes to and how many pieces so you can see here 10 parfait diamond really adds up to very small amount and it's got the grading system the table at the back which is interesting um, yeah look I've never had this type of certificate I guess this is the first time I'm buying something from Hermes that um, has a uh, diamonds um, set on it so again um, much like the Gap Cabrio uh, uh, scented water apparently this is a quite a sought after piece as well so apparently I was very lucky to find one in store that day um, that fits me um, so you can probably guess Oh geez, you can just open it like this. How silly am I? Um, so yeah, here it is. Is the ring? Um, is something I've been um, thinking of getting on my wish list. I've been uh, contemplating this for a while now. Is the Ishapi Hermes ring in the small model uh, with uh, rose gold and the parfait diamonds? Um, again it's from the Shandong range uh, which is the same sort of range that I got in my um, with my silver ring uh, look first time I am experiencing um, diamond sets with Hermes jewelry and I have to say it's very well done like just the way the diamonds are set it is so smooth it's not scratchy at all um different to my you know my engagement ring which is uh, from a local jeweler um which is i mean diamond wise is a lot bigger but you know the the way it's set i don't know whether it's just because the size of it that's the difference um but the hermes like yeah the work the the work the the craftsmanship this you know feels a lot better and advanced with the way they set the diamonds um it is i was initially a bit worried like with the way that horizontal line of diamonds sort of you know position i was worried that it's going to be scratchy um you know it's going to get caught easily with things um but no this actually feels so smooth um like all all around the whole ring um it's just very smooth um very uniform um and you can see here hermes engraved on the inside of the ring along with uh, the made in france um and that it is of um it solid gold um seven five zero um i think the seven five zero denotes that it's 18 carat gold which is my preferred um i do find that jewelry um gold jewelry looks a lot better shiny um with 18 carat rather than the, your 8 carat or your 10 or your 12 carat um 
if I was to get, you know, fine jewelry、um, in gold, I do actually prefer to save up to get eighteen carat gold, solid gold, rather than a low of a lower carat.、Um, yeah, it's so beautiful. So this is a a big gift、um, to myself,、um, and this was what I was really going for when I、um, when I booked the trip. Appointment into、um, the Hermes, as well as to pick up the Cab Cabrio perfume, which I managed to get online. Again, it doesn't pop up、um, frequently, so when I saw it, I basically just snatched it up very quickly.、Um, what other things did I get、uh, on the day? Uh, uh, look, this is、uh, just a return note for online purchase. I think this only comes when, when you pick up things that you ordered online.、Um, that's the receipt. Oh God, I spent so much that day. Now,、um, let's not focus on that bit.、Uh, focus on the happier things. Um, so yeah, so was just chatting with this new essay, and we were talking about bags,、um, and just out of curiosity,、um, me and my friend who we, we shop together, we just asked, so do you have any、um, her bag? Because、um, I've been sort of. Not really knowing whether I want a、uh, Birkin or Kelly at this point,、um, but then she kind of put them on my wish wish list anyway. She's like, "Why not? You know, might as well." I'm like, "Yeah, you're right. Why not? Might as well, and see how things pan play out."、Um, but she did check that there was、um, her bag in stock at the back. Um, and so I told her what type of color I want. I said I want, you know, either black or cool tone.、Um, and she came out with this box and said, "Look, she also has a pure black, but、um, she thought this is such a beautiful color and it matches my outfit on the day and my color scheme on the day、um, that she thought I might enjoy this color more than just a pure black." So so excited! This is my second, my second Hermes bag、um, from the store, and yeah, I am so excited.、Um, so this is just a little booklet about the how to look after the bag, and、um, here it is. Is the her bag、um, now the color? It's so beautiful.、Um, it's like a blue, but not. You know, it's got a tinge, a very light tinge of green,、um, and it's such. Like it's such a easy color to match with the rest of my cool tone wardrobe.、Um, So the size is thirty one,、um, and the color is blue tempeat.、Um, tempeat、um, apparently means storm. So blue storm, how fitting.、Um, so yeah, the look this her bag,、um, the trapezoid shape, and I guess you know the flap. It's kind of feels like a a bit like a Birkin style, I guess, with the you know with a top handle,、um, but then it also got the shoulder strap as well.、Um, now、uh, here you've got the clochette with the lock.、Um, it's in palladium hardware with the sticker still on there.、Um, so I believe you can use the lock on the. Her bag to lock it up, but most people don't.、Um, and here's the clochette、uh, with the keys inside.、Uh, how do I get it out? I think I just slide it out. First impression with the leather:、um, it is quite a stiff leather,、um, you know, on the top, and I guess that's the style, the casual style of this bag. Um, the 
the fabric is canvas you've got the um, the the hook there at the back uh, or the ring there at the back that you can uh, hook the lock uh, on as a decorative piece um, it's got the zipper pocket at the back and at the front you've got a hole here which I believe is where you can actually um, hook the lock into to lock the bag I suppose to put the flap uh, on the bag first look when she opened the bag there was a piece of felt now that I just remembered um, she must have forgotten to pack it because I'm not seeing the felt anywhere uh, I suppose if I store this bag I'd, over time I wonder because the, the leather is so stiff I wonder whether sort of you know um, the the hardware will make a mark without the felt um, because everything just feels so stiff I hope it softens up with time um, but yeah brand new it is so stiff um, and so hard to push it in as well um, I don't know whether I can actually demonstrate putting the lock um, on when it's so new because I'm not I can't actually push it to see to to have the hole visible you can see here I'm really trying to shove it in um, and it is so it is not giving way really and I still can't see the uh, the hole is it a design flaw I don't know because at the end of the day do anyone actually lock it up probably not um, and maybe it, as I said maybe it will soften up with use um, so it is quite handy to have a zipper pocket at the back with a bag that is so difficult to open and close I guess so for easy access so I can already um, see myself putting my phone in that back pocket um, and on the front here you need to push it on a little bit to open it up um, and inside you've got a non-detachable pouch it looks like um, so this is I guess for more secure items maybe a wallet um, or what have you so that goes in there um, there's no other compartments inside I will probably get an organizer um, so that I could uh, keep the shape of the bag as well as organize the bag um, new plastic wrapped handle I, I don't know about you guys but I find it a bit off-putting to have plastic wraps around handle do you think the same it just makes the bag looks a bit cheap um, so yeah you can see I've already scratched it yay so I was trying to pull the um, belt across so that I could actually try to lock the bag but because it is so stiff and so difficult um, with my pulling and shuffling I actually just uh, scratch my nail uh, with force when I uh, when my when the leather piece slipped um, past my fingers and I just scratched it so there we go I was able to pull it through but at the cost of scratching my brand new bag anyway so if you are also contemplating on buying a new her bag um, please don't do what I just done now as uh, that would be terrible oh well the bags is meant for use I 
have, have no intention of reselling at all and I tend to use things until they fall apart so I guess it's not the end of the day for me but it is a shame that I have obviously marked my brand new her bag this marks a very sad moment uh, on my channel and it will it shall be remembered forever anyway um, but otherwise apart from that it does look very um, chic and I could imagine it matches everything and you know it's probably a bit more of a fuss free bag that you know at the end of the day if I wear it so much that it uh, wears out you know it's I'm happy um, it's not so precious that I um, you know I'm really wanting to baby it um, so especially now that I've scratched it you know it can't get any worse can it so I will definitely be using this a lot as soon as I get my insert um, so for the clochette I decided that I will hook it around like so for decorative purposes um, and yeah and the lock goes on the back yeah I need to get rid of the plastic it just makes the bag, new bag look so cheap with the plastic around I don't know like can't they wrap it with something else instead I wonder like you know when it comes brand new in the bag surely they can wrap it with a felt piece or, or cotton I don't know maybe I'm asking too much alright after much struggle I've gotten rid of the ugly plastic and I've also just given it a bit of a leather conditioner to try to soften the mark a little bit um, anyway hopefully with more marks um, being produced on the leather band uh, piece with wear and tear it won't look so obvious because you'll have a lot more scratches I find the strap uh, falls nicely for my height. I am 165 centimeters tall, which converts to 5 foot 4. Um, I do have quite a short torso, and but yeah, no, the bag falls nicely. Look, just something to bear in mind when you put the lock at the back um, in the ring it does make that clink, clinky clunky sound so if you don't like a noisy bag um, you might want to not hook it there I've seen people hooking it um, on the actual uh, clochette strap instead so that might be something to think about um, yeah so I think most people just you know sort of wear it like this um, so that it's, it's not hard to open and close the bag um, this is where the bag falls on my shoulder when I use the shoulder strap um, it does make it when you wear it on the shoulder it does makes it quite easy because you've got two hands that you can use to open and close the bag um, again yeah this this is um the sound is quite noticeable um, i don't know whether once i put things inside it will change it um and whether yeah whether i want to go without the clochette i'm undecided at the moment um but certainly having the zip uh, back pocket i will definitely make a lot use of um for my phone and other things that i really need to get um, quite quickly and this is uh, as a crossbody again it it works for me but I do prefer 
the length when I use it on the shoulder strap but maybe if I need you know my shoulder my hands a lot freer I will use it as a crossbody um, and yeah this pouch also would be very handy uh, for my wallet something a bit more secure and maybe passport if I was going to use it for travel I think the size is quite good I can put a umbrella in as well um, so a water bottle notebooks yeah um, so this is it from me today I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video full of goodies from Hermes so until next time you all take care bye